Jody Halstead from Family Rambling and Ireland Family Vacations. And as you can see, I'm packing. Packing for a family vacation that actually has a varied itinerary. Usually when we take vacations, we're doing something that is all active or, you know, all a bit fancier. But for this vacation, we actually have active adventures we have some casual city days, and we have one, one night where we actually have to dress up for dinner. No jeans, men have to wear uh, suits and jackets uh, and ties. So it's, it's a very different type of vacation for us, but I'm getting ready to pack. And today I'm dealing with the question of what is better for packing? Packing cubes or space bags? So. We're going to work on these clothes here that I have um, and my carry-on bag. Uh, my carry-on bag is a pretty standard size. I want to say it's, what, 17 by about 20, if I'm not mistaken. It's somewhere similar to that. Um, it doesn't say on the inside, but anyway, it's, uh, it's part of the Ikea family line. It's a roller board, it's a backpack, and it has a detachable day pack zips onto the front, which is lovely and padded and where my computer goes. So anyway, it's a pretty typical carry-on size bag. And we're going to see just how much of these items we can get into it using first packing cubes and then space bags. So um, first things first, I do have a pair of heels. It's, they're in a shoe bag and ready to go. I always pack heels in a shoe bag just to keep the heels from, from uh, really ripping anything up. Um, so heels are in a shoe bag and the first thing we're going to start with is a jacket I'm taking. Um, this is a wool jacket. It's a nice jacket. It's for the casual evenings out with friends. Um, and to be quite honest, you know, it doesn't roll. It, it really is bulky and I probably should wear it on the plane, but I'm wearing my, uh, I'm actually wearing a sweater and my Scotty vest and doing some layering on the plane. So I have to take this jacket with me. Um, so I can put it into, it obviously, it's going to fit in this cube, but it's about the only thing that's going to fit in this cube, um, just because of its size and its bulk. So I've got it in a cube, it'll squish down, it'll be fine. Um, but I mean, if you look, it would compress really well into a space bag. So let's see if I can get anything else in with this. Here we go. Let's put this scarf in here. I learned uh, from rolling it that it's really bulky if you roll it, which is kind of funny. And then I've got my dress, which is a nice thin material, and then a little jacket to go over it since the dress is sleeveless. So, okay, so I've got those things in this first cube. All right, makes it a little bulkier. And we get it in here, excellent. All right, so next we'll grab another cube. Uh, my cubes also are from Ikea. They, uh, they work well. I didn't see any reason to spend a lot more on them. Um, you know, other people may have other favorite uh, packing cubes. I don't know. Um, okay, so this is a jacket. It's a lined jacket. It's got a fleece lining to it. It's um, a little bit water resistant for the days that we're going to be hiking. So I've rolled it, and it's bulky. But I've rolled it in there. And in there with that, we're going to put some shirts. And then these are our more, more active clothes. Um, I'm going to be doing some Hiking and archery and walking and things like that. And it's a little bit cooler climate, so a little bit heavier clothes. Um, but I roll my shirts. I usually roll my shirts and my jeans just because they, uh, they don't break all that way. And I can usually get a bit more to fit. And I'm going to get the, it looks like the jacket and four of these layering shirts into this cube. And 
Well, let's see. You probably get some socks in there just because um, the jacket took up a little more space height wise than the shirt. So just get some socks and roll them up and put them into this one end of the bag. They don't try to all escape on me. So shirt, socks, and a jacket in there. I'm getting full already. All right, next we've got jeans. So let's get another cube. Uh, jeans, I also roll. Jeans are bulky. I mean, let's just be honest. And I'm taking three pair. So, and I probably should wear a pair on the, on the flight, but it's a really long flight and I want to be comfortable and it's overnight and who, who likes to sleep in jeans, right? So anyway, roll the jeans and they're heavier jeans too because the weather's cooler. So I wanted jeans that would actually be warm for being outside. So three pair of jeans into the packing cube. Nice jeans. Now, with the packing cubes, unfortunately, that's all I'm getting in there and it's gonna be a tight fit. These are my uh, undergarments here. And unfortunately, it's just, it's gonna be a tight fit. It's they're taking up a lot of room. I've still got some socks and a couple of shirts that are out yet. Um, so, and this is going to zip. And I could probably let's see this. Top of this suitcase has a zippy portion here. So I could probably take these things and put them in flat. Like that. And then put the socks alongside. Kind of fill in that space right there that's a little emptier. Zip that in, close it. I mean, it'll zip, <laughs> but it's uh, sad. Yeah, there we go. Ta da! It's zipped. It might be a little bulky for overhead. I suppose we would have to measure and see. Um, but it's all in there, and that's using the packing cubes and then the one of the pockets that's already in this. Now let's check what happens if we maybe do a mixture of the space bags and the package cubes. See what would happen with that. So I'm gonna get all unpacked again. We're back to the starting point. Here we are. So we've got uh, all the same items out here. What we're going to do this time is instead of using all packing cubes, we're actually going to do a mix between space bags and packing cubes. Um, for me, it really seems like this is a perfect combination, especially if you're taking items that can compress. Um, because like I said earlier, this woolen jacket, love it. But uh, it's, it's pretty, it takes up quite a little bit of room. So if we put it into the space bag, kind of rolled it in half a little bit and put it in the space bag. I still have some extra room in this medium space bag to go. Okay, it's got this little line right here. This is still too here. So we're actually going to use it for both jackets. Um, because this one, because of the fleece lining, it's, uh, it holds a lot of air. So it should compress really well. So I've got it filled to the line. Oh no, my little thing is 
go off. I hate it when that happens. Technical difficulty, technical difficulty. All right, I'm just going to steal one off this larger space bag. just so I can really compress them well. <laughs> All right, so we've got both of the jackets now in about the same size that we had the one. So that's, that's good to start with. All right, um, I left the jeans in here <laughs> because they were really a pain to put in the first time. And we're just going to stick with the capping cube for the jeans. So next, I think we're going to use a small space bag for the socks. And we'll see how this goes. Because, you know, the socks that I'm taking are woolen. Um, so they have a bit of extra bulk. They hold quite a little bit of air um, when you're packing. So they do they do squish up pretty well. Right, so socks in the space bag. Um, this scarf, again, I learned that by rolling it, it takes up a whole lot of room. So I actually am going to just put it in this pocket here because it will squish nice and flat. And then we'll go back to packing cubes for the shirts. Again, rolled. If I were going someplace warm, I would be able to get more clothes into this. <laughs> However, I'm not, so. Those have a bit more weight. We're going to take this tank top and put it right over the top of that, just nice and flat. Right. And then after it won't take up much room. Okay, have that. Put it at the top. This shirt, again, is going to go up into this zippered part just because I don't want to take up space with another bag. And it'll squish nice and flat. I've got my socks. And I've got my under things. My under things are going to go right here. And my socks, there's a little bit of room right up here. Let's see if we can push them right in that side there. mix of the two, it looks like it's about the same kind of fit as we had with just using the packing cubes. So next we're going to do just space bags. Everything's unpacked. We're back to where we started. Um, I'm actually going to put the jackets in this larger space bag. Um, unfortunately, 
the, the one drawback, the really big drawback, I guess, of space bags is that uh, they do have to re be replaced a little more often than your packing cubes because, you know, they're plastic. And these space bags that I have, I've had for, I don't know, quite a few years, actually. I mean, they, it's not like they're going to break the first time you use them. Um, and they will stick around for a while. But sooner or later, you do have to replace your space bags. And these little doohickeys, oh, I found it. It's on the floor. Uh, do pop off. <laughs> Luckily, they pop off and pop back on relatively easily. So, jackets in the larger space bag. Um, you probably should have done this the first time just because it, even though it's a bit wider, it flattens out a bit more. So, jackets in the space bag. And then we're going to put the jeans into this medium-sized space bag. And again, still everything's still rolled. Um, it just works well for getting things in where they need to be. And three pair of jeans are going to fill this space bag up to our you know, fill to the line line. Zip it closed. And switch it out. Really, I do roll on this on the floor. It just works so much better. <laughs> All right, so jeans are in there. Um, I went ahead and left the socks in this small one. So I'll just squish it again a bit. Next, now unfortunately I am out of space bags. Um, those are my two big ones and then I have two small ones. I need to get more. So let's see what we do here. Well, I'm thinking these things will probably just go back up in that pocket. And the things that I'm really worried about not getting damaged um, are my dress and the little shrug that goes over it. So we will put them into this small space bag. This is going to squish down really well. Super tiny. And will fit perfectly in this little nook that I'm going to have left over. Alright, so the next thing I'm going to do, I'm going to take these rolled shirts and I'm just going to line them up on the bottom of my bag here. Now, if they, you know, if I had another space bag like the size that my jeans are in, I'd put these in there. It would take up about the same amount of space as the jeans do, which is, you know, a little less space than they're taking up right there. Uh, let's see, then I've got my under things, which I actually am going to leave in here because this is just the perfect size bag. We'll put it right along this edge. Put the jackets in the top. Put these items back in this pocket, which apparently is super handy. And we'll squish nice and flat. All right, are we ready? I think I'm going to need something. Okay, so we're going to put the jackets at the back because they've got that little roll of pull. We put the socks here, and then that right on top of the socks. And we'll see how it goes. I think. Um, the one thing to remember when you're using space bags 
is that especially with thinner items or smaller items, you can get more into a bag than you probably can into a packing kit. So your bag may end up heavier. So be sure to uh, weigh your bag. Um, you can pick up little portable scales just about anywhere. I think Target has them. So, you know, you just hang your bag and weigh it. Make sure that you're fitting into your airline's requirements. Um, but really, I was able to get the same amount of stuff into this bag. The bag's, you know, zipped with all of them. It's just as bulky with all of them. So, space bags or packing cubes. I'm going to call it a draw. Have a great trip, and thanks for watching.